and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Virtual digital assets or VD markets were trading higher, led by increased whale activity, while fall in net inflows into the 10 spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds seen limiting gains. Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, traded above the $51,000 crucial mark. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 0.3% at 66,550 points. As per the on chain platform firm into the block, Bitcoin worth $540 million were moved out of exchanges last week, the highest net outflows in eight months, signaling a significant shift in investor sentiment. However, the price of Bitcoin has struck around the $52,000 mark for the past week, which according to analysts is indicating moved out of exchanges last week. This marks the highest net outflows in eight months, signaling a significant shift in investor sentiment. Ether, the native token of the Ethereum network, has surpassed a crucial resistance level of $3,000. The token added 17% in the last few weeks, outpacing other cryptocurrencies. ETH surged nearly 35% since the beginning of 2024. BTC rose 22%. Layer 2 blockchains have seen significant growth with Arbitrum generating over $72 million in revenue last year, a nearly four-fold increase from last year's bear market. However, concerns about incentives for ARB token holders are increasing, as 73% of total earnings accrue to Ethereum holders. On the economic front, the cryptocurrency markets would watch out for the key economic events, namely PCE price index, the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, the US fourth quarter GDP data, the ISM manufacturing purchasing managers index, new and pending home sales, consumer confidence and earnings from major retailers. In another interesting news, Carlson Group has added four of the 10 Bitcoin exchange traded funds to its offerings for registered investment advisors. The $30 billion investment firm prioritized asset growth, trading volume and low fees in selecting funds from BlackRock, Fidelity, Bitwise and Franklin Templeton. Meanwhile, a federal judge has signed off on Binance's $4.3 billion plea deal with the U.S. Department of Justice. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at $1.98 trillion mark, increasing 0.2% in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volume decreased by 10% to $55.4 billion. In another development, the U.S.-based Forex pioneer Oanda is opening a cryptocurrency trading platform in the U.K. registered with the country's regulator, the Financial Conduct Authority based in London and dubbed Oanda Crypto. Moving on, Avalanche, a major blockchain, experienced a six-hour outage due to the inscriptions trend, a new method for creating NFT-like assets on the Bitcoin blockchain. The outage was caused by a regression bug in a recent software release causing invalidators to exchange unnecessary information. In another interesting news, Curve Finance is expanding its decentralized finance platform by introducing new lending contracts, allowing arbitrage traders to capitalize on profitable trading opportunities. This diversifies its offerings and expands participation in the DeFi ecosystem. U.S. stock futures dropped lower as investors focus on the latest readings of the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge, as well as a slew of big earnings reports. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average were down by 0.11%, while S&P 500 futures and Nasdaq 100 futures dropped by about 0.2% each. Bitcoin was trading at $51,195, down 0.8%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 1.2%, trading at $3,062. Solana SOL was down 0.3% and was trading at $101.9. Cardano's AD token was down by 1.5% to trade at $0.57. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $36.7, higher 0.1%. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading down by 1.2% at $0.084. Shiba Inu was trading down by 0.7%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.53, down by 1.8%. Polkadot was down by 0.5% to trade at $7.7. However, BNB was up by 2.3% to trade at $387. Polygon Matic was trading up by 2% to trade at $0.99. That's all in Coin Monitor for now. This is Miruchi Sharma signing off. Do like, share, and subscribe to 3 Dotto TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code. With 3 Dotto TV, stay connected with the world of blockchain.
Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with 3Doto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. 3Doto TV delivers the news that matters. Chain data from the Into the Block shows that over $540 million worth of Bitcoin was removed from centralized exchanges last week, the highest net outflows in eight months. This indicates that big investors are moving their Bitcoin into private storage in preparation for a major price swing as February draws to a close. Bitcoin has been on a tear recently, up by 29% in a 30-day time frame. Despite being on a hiatus, the crypto is showing no sign of ending this rally soon with various on-chain metrics pointing to bullishness. A glass note chart shared by crypto analyst Ali Martinez shows that accumulation around the $51,000 to $52,000 price level has remained strong. A recent revelation by Sentiment revealed a pattern of accumulation among large Bitcoin investors with the amount of Bitcoin whales holding more than 1,000 BTC increased by 147 wallets since February. Ethereum reached a new 2024 peak of around $3,050 on February 24th, indicating a potential bullish outing in the coming week. Crypto whale investors have switched their focus to ETH after Bitcoin ETFs were released for weekly trading on February 23rd. Ethereum has overtaken Bitcoin by more than 8% in the past week and recent trends among crypto whales such as ETH is poised to extend its lead over BTC prices in the coming week. The top 1,000 ETH wallets held a cumulative opening balance of 69.51 million ETH on Friday, February 23rd, but have added 170,000 ETH over the weekend, bringing their balances to 69.68 million ETH at press time on Sunday, February 25th. If retail investors and other strategic stakeholders follow the whale's buying trend, ETH price could have another major bullish outing in the coming week. Layer 2 blockchains have seen significant growth with Arbitrum generating over $72 million in revenue last year, a nearly fourfold increase from the last year's bear market. However, concerns about incentives for ARB token holders are increasing as 73% of total earnings accrue to Ethereum holders. L2 blockchains built on top of Ethereum process transactions of the main chain adding its scalability. Ethereum validators receive over 70% of daily transaction fees paid on Arbitrum. ARB was trading at $1.86, reflecting a 9% growth over the past month. Investors with strong holdings have shown interest in L2 tokens, with addresses holding between 1,000 and 10 million cryptocurrency increasing since December. Additionally, approximately 140,000 new ARB holders were adding during the period, indicating significant market demand.